How's it going? Welcome back out to the banks of the McKinsey River. I am Tobin, here for my review of El Mahico and El A... El Azulado. El Azulado. In my previous shade review, I reviewed El Gavilan and El Polocero. Quick recap. For the wife scores on those, Alexis gave Gavilan an 8, Emily gave it a 7, and both girls gave Pelacaro an 8. Here today, I'm going to shave with El Magico and review Azaludo the same way that I did Pelacaro. So these are, once again, in case you missed that video, brand new soap and splash line from the wet shaving store, Andy Amaya. The artisan that is making the soap and splash is Shannon Constantine of Elysian Soaps. So she has created the fragrances herself and she has created the base. The base is slightly different than her base that she uses in Elysian Soaps. Here is El Mahico. I just finished applying the tube 2.0 mentholated. Summer's coming to an end and I thought, you know what? Let's get a little menthol on. This is my absolute personal favorite. Ah, Lazudo would be my second. Gavilan would be my third. And then fourth, if we had to put them all in order, Palacero would be my fourth favorite. I like all of them. This one is just right up my alley. Hinders Classics & Co. I've already scooped. A Frank's G7 in the synthetic, the faux horn, uh, kind of hard to see, I think, right? Wet shaving store brush, synthetic G7 from Frank's. The lather on this is absolutely killer. The scent notes, pretty simple on paper. Nothing is not simple though. Cedar, cardamom, lavender, and oak moss. The uh, fragrance, to describe it in simple terms, would be a rich, woody, aromatic with a hint of spiciness and a hint of earthiness. Going to need more water, I can tell already. It only takes a teeny tiny bit of the soap, and I mean just a little bit. Whatever you're used to using, you can use just a scotch less and get away with it. This stuff blows up. Got my stool to my left. A big giant rock literally right behind me. And let's go just a dash more. It's gonna feel like I got too much water. I know it's kind of hard to see. I always want to show you guys, but I need another camera or like a cameraman for that. So it's late September. Today is the 18th, a Wednesday. Hope to have this up for you by tonight or tomorrow morning. My goal is the morning of the 19th. These drop, they will be available on the 20th. I did not pay for any of these soaps and splashes. And I also did not pay for the razor that I'll be using today. I'll talk about that in a minute. Before I put this soap on my face, I wanna give you a good look at it because it is an absolute beautiful lather. So the cedar in this is woody slightly sweet and is adding a ton of depth and warmth to it this is an absolute perfect fragrance for this time of year into summer going into fall all four of these are when it comes to scent strength scent projection right between a three and a half to a four none of them are super strong but all of them are like just right for shaving in the morning and going straight to work or wherever you're gonna go and not have to worry about it being offensive. Almost got this where I want it. The cardamom, fresh, exotic, aromatic quality to it. It's, it's a perfect cardamom 
Shannon has been making fragrances for years. She came to us from the fragrance world and you can see it in every fragrance that she creates. If you haven't experienced Elysian, guys, I can't say it enough. Do not overlook what Shannon is doing in Pennsylvania. Her lather, everything. It's just, she's killing it. She really is. And she, in my opinion, deserves more recognition. While I'm actually talking about her, you'll get a chance to meet her October 5th. She is the next artisan that is joining me uh, in the community canvas that I'm doing live here on YouTube. I'm going to get another spray of water on my face. The lavender is a herbal floral. Like when you think of lavender, that's the kind of lavender that you're going to get from this. Very light, very subtle, and adding a nice balance to this overall, what might be a darker fragrance, but it's adding just this great balance to, to it. Like you don't smell it and like, boom, there's lavender. But when you slow down, Tobin, slow down, and you take a minute to really appreciate the fragrance, that lavender that you're going to catch is just perfect. Just like this lather. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oak moss. Earthy. Slight leathery. Like a slight leatheriness to it. It is anchoring and grounding this fragrance. My wife gives this a 9. Emily gives it an 8. I would give it a 10 all day long. This is a Tobin kind of fragrance right here. I love it. The El Azuto. So this one is really cool. Shannon, I can't remember the name of it. A year or two ago, she did... I think it was a Shave Dad fragrance. I can see the label. The label was red. Um, she did what was basically a clone of old school Aqua Velva. This is like Aqua Velva meets 2024. It's almost... So here's the other fragrance, right? It's almost as if... You had a time machine and you took the same people that made the original Aqua Velva and had them create a fragrance for today. It's almost like you're taking, I don't have a mirror, I'm using the cell phone, cell phone once again for the shave. It's almost like Aqua Velva and Davidoff's Cool, wa cool Water had a baby. It's very much like that. Before I talk about the scent notes, Naked Armor contacted me. They wanted to send me a razor. They told me to pick one out. So this is the one I picked out here. This is not my review of it. I will have this in a razor review series. I've had this for a couple of weeks. I've used it five or so times, maybe a few more. It came with a pack of feather. I am today using in it a first use Bolzano, one of my absolute favorite blades. I would say this shaves a lot like a DE89 from Edwin Jagger, but maybe a little more efficient. The head is not exactly the same, but it is similar when you look at, excuse me, when you look at it. So the scent notes in El Azaluda, Do, 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 Re, Mi, Bergamot, Clary Sage, no, back it up, peppermint, clary sage, bergamot, camphor, lavender, oak moss, labdamon, labdamum, and musk. The musk is super mild, um, and that's kind of like where I talk about it being like a more modern version of it because it is not a, mus a musky. The splash is the only splash in the essential line that has menthol in it. Shaving outdoors is a whole other animal, guys, especially when you're not using a mirror. But anymore, I've gotten to the point that a mirror is just a hassle. So I got my rinse bowl right here to my left. 
should probably at least put some squirts of water on my face. The menthol from that uh, tube feels great. I can feel it, the briskness of this late summer air. Let's throw, oh yeah, that's cold. So if you like Aqua Velva, or if you like Davidoff's Cool Water, you're gonna love this Elizuda. I, I guarantee you, you're gonna absolutely love it. And it's not like a heavy menthol. Uh, when it comes to menthol strength, I give it like a four. It's right about average. So if you're sensitive to menthol, it shouldn't bother you. It's not like a menthol bomb or anything like that. This Thursday, so tonight, if you're watching this after I get it uploaded, Barry, aka Texan Shaves, is joining me for a live shave and chat on We Shave. Got some giveaways lined up. And then October 5th, as part of my community canvas, Shannon Constantine, the artisan behind. Uh, Elysian Soaps joins me and the creator of these fragrances and soap base. And then the first weekend in November, Pete Hendricks joins me. And then Black Friday weekend. Hadn't settled on an exact date yet. It'll probably end up being Saturday. We'll see how things go. Uh, Douglas Smythe, a Phoenix artist and accoutrements, will join us. And then next up in November, no, October, I think it's Patrick Croman, right, or Glenn Sherman. I get it confused. It's either Patrick first and then Glenn, but we're all set up all the way through November for lives. We shave is every third Thursday, and then the Artisan Community Canvas is the first Saturday of every month, except for the Black Friday Thanksgiving special with Douglas Smythe. Hope you guys had a great summer. I did, it flew by way too quickly. Can't believe Emily is back in school and that summer is here. Saw Astro Travelers coming back. Should make a lot of you very happy. That's a great fragrance from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Remember when shopping at the wet shaving store, if you use my code Tobin, you'll save 10% off most items. There are some exclusions, like new releases. I don't know if my discount code will apply to these soaps. If they don't apply right away after a while, they likely will. I just finished reviewing the Rockwell Razor in my Razor Review Series. That and like virtually every razor that I put in my cart and tested does work. Damn fine shave. I could use a third pass for a BBS, but here in a few minutes, this is going to be a damn fine shave. And what I do feel, I think, won't be noticeable at all. The cheeks are perfect. It's always right here are my trouble spots and right here. I imagine those are yours too, right? I want to thank Naked Armor for sending me the razor. With these brushes, if you buy them, you get 15% off of the soap. And I do believe that does apply to new stuff. Andy has the black handle with the Frank's G5, and he has that black and white one that I used the other day with the Frank's G5, and then this one here with the G7, and the G5 and the G7 are easily two top-notch, top-of-the-line synthetics. I love them. I really do. I still need to get them into my brush review series. So many. I've been trying to knock them out, but it's not easy. The Everlasting Alumbot from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I use this basically as like an astringent. 
a skin tightener, a toner. If you're a new wet shaver, it'll help you easily identify the spots that you missed. You can also use it to give your fingers extra grip if you're using something that's a little slippery. With my gingery fair skin, I like to use it to tighten up my, my pores. I find that it helps a lot. I would normally change my post shave routine, apply witch hazel now, but there is witch hazel in the splash. And I have found that with this splash from Shannon, I'm getting just as good as results as I would from any splash on the market. And I find that true with all of Shannon's splashes. I'm thoroughly looking forward to having her on. I hope that by November or December, Andy Amaya is feeling better. I'd love to have him on with us for Community Canvas. Need to get November and December scheduled. I want to thank you guys for joining me out here on the banks of the McKenzie. Stick around for the B-roll. Forgot to do the drawing for the winner of the blades. I meant to do that. I just realized it. I'll announce that in an upcoming video this weekend. Maybe in the live tomorrow. Today. If you're watching this today. Thursday the 19th. Tonight at 4 p.m. Pacific. 7 p.m. Eastern. Barry Bedford. A Texan Shaves. Joins me. Looking forward to that. Barry is damn good people. Damn good stuff. Maynard. Damn good stuff, Maynard. Take care, and I'll see you next time. All right, welcome to the B-roll. There's my tripod. I'm using my stool here to the left, and this big rock. It's downstream. I do record these before the shave. Hate to see summer go. Pan out again. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Thank you again, Andy. Won't be long. These will all be changing colors. I think those are just part of a dead branch right there. Look at that moss, moss Lee. Take care, guys. See you next time.